Alright. Finish me. Oh, god damn it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to Second gen of the world of 30. And the new Pokemon is a Pokemon called Delta Pokemon. So this is gen of all the types, kind of starters and bosses. That's neat. Um, are Delta Pokemon the thing from the card game? Where they uh, are alter, alter, blah, 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 blah. altered species so that they have, like, uh, different types. Like, I know there is a... Uh, if I remember correctly, an electric type Totodile or something like that. I know there's a Fire Steel Mewtwo in the card game. Which I thought was pretty neat. I thought that was gonna do like no percent of its health because of how slow it was moving, but I forgot that like Chansey has a metric butt ton of health. Okay, yeah, I mean that that is it's in the card game. They're called Delta Species and it's a thing. But I guess the fact that it's just one is what's unique there. so we don't have to switch into it. Because she's really the only one that can, like, not kill things. Sand Isle, okay. so happy to not have to go through that. <laughs> cool. Alright, Sandal. Gonna name you... I did not check the gender unless it's female. Okay. So how about... This one will be Cassandra. Actually, no, Grace. I like Grace better for this. Here we go. Grace the Crocodile. Okay. awkward moment when I was on the little path to avoid a fight, and then there's someone there who wants to fight. It's like, gosh, man, there's an entire desert for that. You have to go in the one place that's not fighting? Nice. I was needlessly sloppy, but I, I wanted to do that. <laughs> Alright, Frisbee, you can, you can murder it.
Probably tell me why we got covered. Can we get to the rock castle and catch like one of the Pokemon there? Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Sea scale. Alright, well, if I clamp her all, that'd be nice. Weird place to find it, though. Oh, hard scale. Neat. It's kind of neat that it's like right up against the ocean. Like, why is there a desert against the ocean? The team for bulldoze! Oh, that's so great! That's like baby earthquake. Okay, I'm gonna catch one Pokemon in the Relic Castle, and then we will save the other catch for uh, the little Corona in the bottom. There we go. Yo, Cubone! Quick ball. Rad, got it in one. Cubone, the lonely Pokemon. When it thinks of its dead mother, it cries. Its crying makes the skull it wears rattle hollowly. Yes. This one's female again. So yeah, this one will be Cassandra. Welcome to the party, Cassandra. Oh, unless it won't let me, because it contains ass. Oh, no, it's good. We're good. It just probably just can't go on the GTS. Fossils you can catch in the earliest way as I know of is Ammonite, Crickly, Arcan, and Kabutops. Kabutops? Wow. Cut one each and kill the other one of each, except the Kabutops. The Kabutops, there was only one Kabutops. Interesting. I mean, that's neat. Fossils are cool. Curious why they're just floating around, but it's a neat idea. Alright, All right, so well, you know what? Let's. Huh. Now, yeah, let's go down. Everything you can get to critically. Okay. Is that weird? Like, that you can catch one early and then again later? I know they occasionally do that where they throw a Pokemon that is like under levels for the area and you have to like backtrack. I feel like you're, that, that, that's just based on personal experience. Kind of hard to gauge a catch rate from one example. Huh. That seems interesting. Between this and uh, Ultra Moon, or Sun, or Ult yeah, they're both Ultra, Ultra Moon. I think that I will be hitting my Pokemon quota for a while, but I'll definitely keep it in mind. Motorcycle in the desert. You know, that sounds edgy, but really you just wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs>
Parasex Cry sounds really familiar. Is it, like, really similar to Mewtwo's? Because it sounds really similar to Mewtwo's. Yeah, that's real similar. <laughs> Starting yesterday, I've decided to become a bad dude! Now people will know I'm strong! You go, kid. Be a bad dude. I, I believe in you. Okay, it is the same cry with the fish change. Good to know. I wonder if that's still the case, like, in the more recent games. Because I know they went through and changed a lot of the early ones. To sound a little more organic. Grinding something up from level five takes a while, but I mean, hey, it's a it's a ROM. You can just put in one of those like experience multipliers, and it's really that boring. Do you not like what? Like the particular cry, or just that they change things? Because I'm all in on them changing things. But the more that they uh, made cries sound more like animals, the, the more the original ones stood out. Like, it, it, it was actually making me actively avoid Gen 1 Pokemon because, like, they sound weird. Okay, well, it's not a ROM hack, but it is... It's a thing that you need to run in an emulator, I guess. Like, you can't put it on a console. It's something that you can access its commands. Hey, hey, we'll take care of you. Hey, 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 what's wrong? Are you lost or something? No, that sounds nice. But, like, then they attack me, so maybe they're being jerks. I don't really know what's going on here. Package out the EFC. That's neat. Usually they don't bother. Because really, what that means, if it is built from a Pokemon game at all, as compared to like absolutely from scratch, is that that means that there's an emulator somewhere in its files. Which is like a nice touch, just to uh, be like accessible, but also just kind of weird. Like, why bother? <laughs> my cute little Pokemon! My baby lost! Us bad dudes are getting together to boast about our Pokemon! Some cute Pokemon you've got there! You aren't too shabby a trainer either! Nice. Nice. Good, 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 good talk. We had a good talk there. Is there anything back here? Do I have any? Where's my key items? That was in our eye. Just the other side? Alright. Oh, 
I like that. Oh, cool, Cacnea. That would have been a neat one. You're so low level, though. I wouldn't pick the thing up, and there's another creature. Scraggy! My immortal enemy. Get rocked. Alright. That enemy you're standing on, Scraggy. Oh, money. What's money? This is just a drift force style with like for gen force style battle for its own good Pokemon. Huh. That's neat. Yeah, so I guess if, um. If people listen to this think that, uh, Pokemon Insurgents sounds like something for them, go check it out. Is it something we can find just by Googling, or is it deep, deep on the web? <laughs> it is true of most things. You, you, you have to experience it to know whether it is good or bad. Okay, it is Googleable. That is good. For dig. Huh. Oh, it's up there. Well, there's a lot of neat Pokemon in this desert. Like we've come across a bunch of different species. Alright, so there's Gilwin. Oh, just the third. All right. A red shard. Neat. Oh, it's the car. Got it. Unlike the uranium, where if you dig around for it, since they kind of themselves spend it. Yeah. Yeah. Why did that happen again? Like, I do remember hearing about it, that uranium is, like, now the forbidden realm because of that. But I never really heard, like, what it did. Like, if they just decided to drop the panhammer because it was getting popular, or if it was, like particularly, like, not in line with Nintendo policies. 